Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and we're going to continue learning the Messages Extensions API which is part of the iOS 10 framework. Now if you have not uh, looked at or watched the previous screencast, uh, that was the beginning of our, the part one in which we learn how you can insert text which is the simplest thing that you can actually do using the Messages extension. Um, so let me first go ahead and run the application so you're familiar of where we are right now and what we are going to learn in this particular screencast. So if I go ahead and launch my API which looks like this all right and I can say send message and send message simply put the message in the text box for or the text field for the messages and then you can press and then it goes away. Now what if I want to insert a message which has more properties like uh, I don't know like an uh, image or some caption and things like that. Now first of all let's go ahead and look at what Apple has provided us for the case of different kind of layouts. So this part is called the image and you can set the image of the background which we're going to do right now. Image title, image subtitle, caption, subcaption, trailing caption and trailing subcaption. So this will, this can basically, this is a prototype or a blueprint of what the message actually can look like. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a message. So I can say let message equals to ms message. And you can see it has different uh, properties that I can assign to it. Uh, the first that is a requirement is also the URL property. Okay. Now the URL property of a message is basically if you want to pass in some information back and forth between two users. And this is a requirement. You must set up the URL property. So what we're going to use is we're going to use NS URL components to generate the URL property. And right now we don't really need to define anything for URL. So I'm just going to pass in the URL. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay. Now the messages also has a layout. So let's go ahead and create a layout. And MS, uh, let's see, message layout, which is this one. MS message template layout. All right. Now a layout is basically the same thing that we saw in the screen. This is basically the layout. So we're going to select, we're going to set some image title and also the, uh, or the yeah, image title and also the background image or the image itself. So layout dot caption equals to, I'm just going to say cat because I have the image for the cat layout dot image equals to UI image and I can pass in uh, the name which in this case I believe is cat dot jpeg all right. So we have created a layout which is of MS message template layout. The caption has been set to cat and the image has been set to the image of a cat, which is right over here. So let's go ahead and assign that. So I'm going to say message dot layout equals to the layout. Simple as that. Now I can use the self dot active conversation dot insert and you can see there are different options for you. We have already used the insert text previously in the previous screencast but we're going to use insert message. So I can say message over here some sort of a localized string and then the completion block. Let's go ahead and run it and that should be it. So let's go ahead and run the application. Attach it to the messages application because this is in the end, this is a messages extension. And let's go ahead and pull up the App Store or our install extensions. And let's wait for our extensions to be refresh. Let's say send. And you'll see that immediately, uh, but it's not sent yet, by the way, right? You, you cannot send uh, forcibly uh, the messages, any message, any text, any file, nothing. The user must press the send button for this to work. So this was sent by messages user one, 
Now, if I go back to messages user two, you can see that the messages user two actually, uh, you know, received this. All right. And that is pretty much it. That's how you send a certain message which has a background image or an image attached to it and a caption attached to it. And as you can see over here, there are many different properties that you can use. You can use a subtitle for the image, the caption, uh, the image title, and all kind of different things. All right. Uh, that's it. If you like it, please do comment on the YouTube and uh, tell your friends about the YouTube channel. I will be uploading a lot of videos regarding the messages extension and then moving on to the iOS 10. Uh, also thumbs up the video, share it, share it on Twitter, retweet it, share it on Facebook. Uh, thank you very much and uh, hope you have a wonderful day.